Hey everybody, welcome back to Fantasy Theory. If you didn't hear or see the trailer, the new trailer for The Penguin has come out. The Penguin starring Colin Farrell, who, you know, they do an amazing job with his makeup because it looks nothing like him. And that's a good thing because, you know, The Penguin doesn't look pretty handsome, I could say that. So in today's video, we're going to dive into the new trailer. There really isn't much to talk about, but I'm going to try to pinpoint everything I noticed, all the Easter eggs you might have missed, and just kind of theorize what could happen in the first season, if there's going to be more seasons or if it's just going to be this one. So let's jump right into the video. So to start off, this is canon to the Matt Reeves, the Batman universe with Robert Pattinson. If you didn't see the first one, I highly recommend it. It was really good. James Gunn is also producing an Arkham Asylum show, but I've heard conflicting reports that it's canon to the DCU, but I've also heard it's canon to this Batman universe. I thought originally it was canon to just the Batman universe, but I'm hearing all these other things, so I don't exactly know where it's canon. I feel like it makes sense more for this universe, but we'll see. If you didn't hear, the Batman was delayed another year, so I think it comes out in 2026 now just i think it's october 2nd 2026 so technically not a full year but close to it you know 364 days instead of 365 the penguin show revolves around the character of the penguin played by, by colin farrell i believe this takes place directly after the 2022 the batman film and shortly before the batman part 2 which will be released in 2026 like i said the show is set to release in the fall of 2024 so expect it any time between september and november they didn't really give it yet but once it gets closer They'll give us the right date. The show will follow the Penguin's rise to power now that Carmine Falcone, and spoiler alert for the Batman, has died. I don't exactly know why they picked the Penguin as the next show to bridge the gap between Batman 1 and Batman 2. I don't really know what else they could show besides his rise to power, but I do expect the Batman to be in it in some way. I believe Robert Pattinson was seen around set when they were filming in the New York City in the costume, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but I heard there was rumors that he was seen in filming. And of course, I just think you have to put him in the show for it to be really good if it's meant to bridge the gap between the first two. This show to me is meant to be more of a mob boss related show with all the different families coming for Carmine Falcone's territories. The trailer starts and continues with a monologue from the from the Penguin for about the whole duration of the trailer. To whom he's speaking to, we're not exactly sure, as we don't see him. My theory is it could be Batman, James Gordon, but a more logical theory is that he's talking to the kid that we see in the trailer a few times, who I'm not sure his name, but I believe the Penguin takes him in as one of his loyal lieutenants. The weather in the trailer keeps up with the theme of the DCEU, with it being rainy. And yes, I know it's not taking place in the DCEU, but it's always funny to see it raining and dark in the DC shows. Carmine Falcone's family, I believe, will play a big role in the show. Kristen Melody is casted as his daughter and also a potential love interest for the Penguin. Now, how this will work, I don't exactly know. The Penguin trying to take over her father's territory might become a big plot issue between them, and if she wants to take over her father's reigns. I believe a lot of the enemies for the Penguin will be from Carmine Falcone's family, as well as his loyal servants. The monologue where Penguin is talking is about Rex Calabrese, otherwise known as the Lion, who was in power before Falcone. It seems that the Penguin really looks up to Rex in some way, and his rise to power is a, sort of a template for the Penguin's rise to power. Penguin alludes that Rex died from a heart attack, but I do wonder if they will go with a storyline where Carmine Falcone was behind his death. The Penguin mentions him dying with a cigar in his mouth, which is a funny little Easter egg. The Penguin actor Colin Farrell was denied smoking cigars on the set of The Batman, but was allowed to smoke them in The Penguin Show. So I do want to point out that cigars might be a major theme here. I don't know. I just, I'm just speculating. The Penguin waddles with an umbrella just like his comic accurate way to the Iceberg Lounge, the exact lounge from the comics. The Penguin is shown going up an elevator to Carmine's office, signifying that almost he's taking over the reins of the big boss. The Penguin meets with a character who looks to be in a GCPD prison, and his character I believe it will be Salvatore Moroni. If you don't know who he is, he is part of the Moroni crime family. In some comics, Salvatore is allegedly the person who put a hit out on Bruce's parents, and as well in the Batman movie, Falcone frames him for the murder of Bruce's parents, so he's always kind of connected with Bruce's parents in some way. It's cool to see Salvatore's point of view now, and I wonder if he plays any some type of role in this rise for Penguin, or if he's still going to be like a rival mob boss, you know, ruling from beyond a cell. Carmine wanted Salvatore's territory and framed him for a bunch of different crimes, but most importantly, the murder of Bruce's parents. And if you remember in the Batman, the big drug bust, which helped the Carmine's rise to the level he was at before he passed, before he died. We see a shot of what looks to be some, some Arkham Asylum room. 
And there's a bunch of like little shots. Like there's a shot with him with a ring on, and the ring could be a potential like power level type of thing. You know, there's a shot of the Rolls Royce that he's driving. So there's a lot of shots that we really can't explain, but I'm sure when we watch the show, we'll kind of get a better picture for it. But that's kind of been my quick breakdown of the Penguin trailer. Let me know any of your theories. Will we see the Batman? Will we see Jim Gordon in the show? I think we'll see them both because I just feel like it makes sense to put them in there when it's supposed to be bridging the gap between the first movie and the second movie. I almost feel like there should be more than a cameo and should be more of a steady appearance between them. But leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have an incredible day.